guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to be continuing on on the C10 build. On last week's episode, we got the truck. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I just came to say hi, and I saw your last video, and I thought you needed a little bit of help. Yeah, what do you, what do you know about working on cars? Uh, Let alone classic trucks. I know a lot. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. All right, guys, my friend uh, Vanessa's here. Um, Apparently she thinks she can uh, help us work on the Hi. truck. Um, so um, yeah, you, you threw, uh, now that you interrupted our uh, introduction, um, anyways, we're going to be um, taking the bed off the truck today. Um, you want to inter introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, I'm Vanessa. <laughs> All right. I'll have her um, uh, IG uh, information down below for you guys. Uh, go and uh, say hi to her. Um, yeah, it threw off my whole introduction, but um, let's get uh, started on the build. Uh, if you haven't done so already, uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps us out a lot. Um, let's uh, see what she can do and uh, see if she offers any help with us today. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so again, same truck. I'm going to be just taking off the bed. Again, it's a pretty solid truck, as I mentioned last time. Uh, last time I had a bunch of junk in the back, but you can see uh, the bed's really, really solid on this. This has the original wood on it. Um, only has a small piece right here that's kind of broken out, but it's usually pretty rare to find them with the original wood floors still intact. Um, again, it's really, really solid. Uh, nice, uh, nice solid bed. Uh, Again, it's a shame to take it off, but again, um, most people like the short beds with fleet sizes. They do look a lot better. Uh, this bed will be up for sale once we take it off. Um, so if you want, hit me up. Uh, I'll have the email address below, or you can hit me up on Instagram. Again, that contact information will be below. All right. So I'm going to start by hitting all the bolts with some PB Blaster. Uh, this one up. Uh, this is going to help me uh, get underneath. Uh, if any of the bolts start sliding, uh, I should be able to get on the other side, uh, grab them with the uh, 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 channel locks, and um, actually uh, be able to pull them off a lot easier. So it is going to be good having her here. Um, then we're going to basically use a uh, Harbor Freight uh, A hoist uh, to lift it off and uh, go from there. Uh, we'll put you on time lapse while we start doing this uh, so you can follow along and uh, see where we go from there. All right.
so we pretty much got the bed all unbolted. Some of the bolts were uh, slipping when we were turning them. So we cut them off. Uh, Vanessa right now is going to lift up the bed with the A-frame. Uh, I'm going to help guide it as she uh, lifts it up and uh, pretty much we'll get this thing off. Uh, and hopefully they'll wrap it up. Um, I'll put this on a, a fast frame uh, and you can watch us get this off. got the bed off uh, everything went pretty easy um, next episode um, probably between next episode I'm gonna send the truck out to get the rear half uh, media blasted um, and then uh, I'll probably spray paint it uh, a chassis black and then uh, I want to do step notch and um, some of the rear suspension stuff and then we'll do a uh, fleet side um, a fleet side short bed on it. Uh, some of you guys might have noticed, uh, I'll pull you off the tripod. Um, some of you guys might have noticed in the background, I do have uh, some of the fleet side. I have tons of tailgates and I do have the uh, uh, fleet side short bed panels. Uh, I have one here, I have one on the other side. 
so I have, and then here's the uh, uh, inner wheel tubs. So I have everything to, um, and then there's the uh, 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 fleet side uh, uh, sport bumper. So I have everything to do the uh, fleet side conversion. Uh, here's the uh, fleet side uh, cross seals. Uh, so I have everything to do the conversion. Uh, so I just want to clean up the um, frame a little. Uh, then we'll get that on, hopefully on the uh, next episode. Uh, what do you guys think? I think um, Vanessa did a great job. I told you I could help. <laughs> so uh, maybe uh, we'll keep her on as a permanent part of the show. Um, actually with something this large, it does help to have two hands. Uh, so especially if we're gonna be doing uh, the uh, fleet side bed, uh, it'll probably be best to have an another set of hands. Uh, so um, uh, comment down below and uh, again, I'll have her uh, her IG information below. Um, uh, maybe we'll have her as a permanent part of the show. Uh, it really did help to have a second set of hands on here. Um, let, let me know what you guys think. Um, again, if you haven't done so already, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps us out a lot. Uh, I thank everybody for watching. Um, it's nice to have somebody on the show uh, just besides me. And um, please stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, this is going to be a really good build. Thank you. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Don't All forget right. to subscribe. Alright, see you guys. Alright, we have a little added bonus for today's episode. So, um, after we got the bed off, I went and cleaned up the frame as far as removing anything that we won't be needing anymore. Uh, I got the uh, muffler and exhaust cut off just right before the bed. Um, removed the uh, shocks. Um, removed any brackets that aren't going to be needed. Um, in the future um pretty much got this thing prepped to go to uh sandblast we're going to be using uh, blast tech blasting and in inland empire i'll have their instagram information down below for you uh, i've used them in the past known them for many years uh, they have a great service um be loading up the truck on the trailer right now and taking it out there to them so i'll show you uh, uh the truck before and then if we have time, uh, maybe when we drop it off, if not, definitely when we pick it up, I'll show you the after before we actually uh, uh, paint the frame. Um, but before we actually get the bed on, this will actually make a big difference um, uh, working on a clean, fresh frame, especially when we start doing our suspension uh, work back here. Uh, it's just gonna make everything look that much more nicer. And it beats uh, going at this with the wire wheel or sanding it ourselves. Um, it, it allows you to get around all these rivets and tight areas that it's just really impossible to get to. With sandpaper you can get it with a wire wheel, but you pretty much uh, kick up dust and dirt everywhere and end up with spikes all over you <laughs> at the end of the day. If any of you have done it before, you know what I'm talking about. I've done it for many years. It, um, you know, if you can use a blast uh, sandblasting service, I, I recommend doing it. It makes the job a lot more easier and it comes out a lot better looking. Uh, so I'm going to get this thing loaded up right now and we'll take it out there. Again, I'll have a, a Blast Tech Blasting's uh, IG account and information down below. And uh, you can hit them up again. They do great service.
So that's it. We got her loaded all up. I'll strap her down and we'll be on the road. All right, everybody just picked up the truck. Uh, you can see Blastic Blasting really did a kick-ass job. Um, like I said, uh, sand blasting is the way to go, especially for chassis and everything like that. Um, there's no way you could get into all these detail areas and get everything as clean as this uh, on your own. So we'll be taking it back to the shop, uh, doing a coat of uh, chassis black over it. And then you'll see it on the next episode. So again, this was just a little extra footage. Again, I'll have all the information for Blastic Blasting down below. Uh, I've used them many times. I've known them for years. Uh, like I said, there's nowhere else uh, you should take your vehicle to or, or even any of your parts. Uh, it could do uh, sand blasting, media blasting, and even uh, uh, primer coating. Uh, any of the parts you get uh, blasted with them. Um, so hit them up. Again, that pretty much wraps it up for this episode. Again, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't done so already, please uh, like and subscribe down below. Um, see you on the next episode. Hopefully we'll be getting the, either chassis work done on this thing or the uh, uh, short bed fleet side on it, uh, or probably maybe both. Again, thanks again for watching.